Hi, within this video I will demonstrate how you can leverage SharePoint and a task list within SharePoint uh, to create a listing of potential projects and then we'll show I'll show how to create an approval workflow so that uh, these listing so that a potential project can be reviewed and then approved uh, to move forward. So uh, looking at my screen, um, I'm showing uh, a SharePoint and a task list within SharePoint. I've renamed this task list portfolio and it contains a listing of potential projects. These are, this is a one line item per potential project. And you can see I have a, just a few attributes here and you could create as many additional attributes that you would like to, uh, that would be associated with uh, each one of these potential projects. <clears throat> so what we'd like to do now is create what's called an approval workflow for this SharePoint task list. So in order to do that, we click on the list tab across the top here and then move over to the workflow settings tab and choose add a workflow. And we simply um, accept the default items here for this list and approval SharePoint 2010 workflow and now we get to name we get to create a name for this and I'm just going to call this project approval workflow you can call it whatever you like um, again I'll accept all of the defaults down uh, th through this uh, through the remaining options here and the one that I'll call your attention to is this one here that says allow this workflow to be manually started so we want to uh, we want to use this option so that we um, make sure that we have all of our attributes assist, uh, input for each potential project and once we, then once we're ready we will then manually start the workflow for each uh, for each potential project. So uh, again, uh, just, we'll just uh, accept this defaults that are here and click on next. And the next screen that appears allows us to input our approvers. Now these this these approvers would have to have access to the system. Um, uh, I'm going to uh, input my name here. Uh, so I can uh, search for uh, search for my name, and um, once I find my name, I can click on my name, click on Add, and then click on OK. Now, um, what happens now is my name appears in the assigned to dialog in the assigned to box, and you could have as many names or as many approvers um, in this field as as necessary by your needs. Um, the next option that appears is the order and you can have the uh, uh, approvals to be um, occur in serial. In other words, the, the first person in the list would have to approve before the second person in the list would, would get notified to approve and so on. In other words, they would occur in serial. Um, I think for the purposes of this um, exercise in this demonstration we'll, we'll choose all at once so everyone gets the approval task and they can approve um, as soon as soon as they get the order uh, get the email and then the entire potential project itself would not be approved until all of the approvers um, that are in this assigned to field approve the project so again there's uh, moving forward here there's a number of additional options that could be set here. Uh, you could put more details in your request. You could actually have someone s uh, sent a courtesy copy of the email. But for our demonstration purposes, uh, I'm just going to accept uh, all those defaults as blank and click on save. And now my uh, project approval workflow has been created. You'll notice that there are currently zero workflows in progress. And so now I'll move back to my portfolio, which is my listing of potential projects. And let's pretend that uh, this project number one has all of the information populated that's needed for the reviewers 
to uh, to review and potentially approve this potential project. So in order to um, start this workflow, uh, we must click on this uh, menu option here, these three dots, and then we get another more actions here in this menu option, and now uh, we have the advanced option and we can choose workflows. And as soon as I choose workflows, you'll see what it's wanting to do. It's wanting to start a new workflow for this project one. So what I need to do now is just click on project approval workflow, and that will initiate um, this next screen. You can see uh, this is the one that has our defaults populated. And if I simply click on start, um, now the system goes to work. Um, in, in creating an approval workflow for that potential project. And so behind the scenes, what is happening is it actually is creating a, a, a task for each one of these approvers. And it's creating a, a task within the system um, and it will automatically send out an email based upon that task. Now, you'll notice that um, when, it re when the screen returned, I now have an, a project approval workflow column here, and we can see that this project, um, the approval for this potential project is in progress. And uh, if we wait just a moment here and give the system the opportunity to to work its magic, um, an email will will be sent across um, uh, requesting uh, the approvers, all of the approvers that are listed in that previous box, uh, to review and approve this potential project. So you can see I'm get, getting the emails now, um, and if I if I come here to my uh, uh, email, you'll notice that I have that task that says, please approve project one. So I have my approver hat on now. And if I double click on that email, um, it will open up. And you'll see that um, that I'm now assigned a task uh, to complete this task. Um, I need to review project one. I could click on that hyperlink right there, and that would take me over into that potential project within SharePoint, and I could see all of the attributes that are populated in uh, into that uh, potential project. And from there, I could decide whether or not I want to approve this project to move forward or deny it. So we'll, we'll pretend that I review that information. And then it says, then it says use the open this task button to mark the task as completed. So that open this task option is here in the menu. If I click on this, um, now it opens up uh, a, another dialog box that says, please approve project one. Um, I have the ability to uh, approve, uh, reject, uh, or request a change to this project. I can even reassign this task to someone else if I want it. Um, and uh, also I have the ability to input, um, maybe we'll just say uh, some comments here in this box and I'll say you know I really like that pro I really like that project I think we can be successful and I'm going to approve it so it's simple it's as simple as that for me as the approver and what happens now behind the scenes is a, basically a, a, and kind of like uh, that approval goes back through the system. And we're, we've come back over to the SharePoint list. We can see at this point um, the uh, project one, the project approval workflow is still in progress. Um, but let's just see what happens if I refresh my screen. You'll notice that it is now showing as approved uh, because I was the only approver on the project, um, and what's nice about this uh, workflow process is at any point in time, um, if you want 
to wanted to um, see the status of this the the approvals on this potential project all you have to do is click on this hyperlinked item here hyperlinked name here and uh, a an image is being rendered there um, but what's what's more and this image would it's showing that the workflow has started it's showing at this point there was only one approver and and it's now uh, been approved by all if there were multiple people in that approval list they would all show here if if all of them maybe there maybe four out of maybe there were five people and four out of the five approved it would show that the show the name of the fifth person that hasn't uh, either hasn't approved yet or maybe they denied the project to move forward and the even more beneficial information uh, would be would appear down below and this would show this would show um, uh, who who approved uh, who approved the project to move forward um, it would contain a uh, date and time stamp on when that project was approved by whom and you can also see where I put in uh, my comments here so this is uh, this again is the um, place where um, the security of the system is is applied and uh, only uh, individuals that are set up as approvals um, actually have the ability to uh, go into the system and uh, and approve a potential project to move forward and the, all that information is captured around who and when the approvals occurred so that concludes this video on how to leverage a SharePoint task list uh, and set up an approval workflow to review and approve uh, potential projects um, before they move forward. Thank you very much.